Hello all, we meet again for another Artist Spotlight. This is brought to you exclusively by the New Orleans Art Center. Our special artist today is Mary Ann Breen. Her work has shown across the country and is known for being small in size, but monumental in experience. Using mostly found and natural material, these fantastical little landscapes send the viewer off onto a psychological voyage. The first thing that kind of captivates me with these sculptures is the use of size. Uh, can you tell us about how you use size to sort of create these intimate little environments? Well, that, that's exactly what I'm trying to do is, you know, I mean, I couldn't do these on a grand scale, like a walk-in kind of experience. Yeah. So I just try to make them to a scale that feels big, but is tiny. Yeah. And so that people can kind of get involved and feel themselves inside the environment, even though it would be totally impractical to be standing in front of a wave or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's the whole game is trying to keep the scale so that it looks like appropriate for, for the size of the work. Yeah, it just completely yeah. changes their perspective and takes them out of where they are and puts them in another place, I guess. You also use a lot of earthy materials like metal and wood. Why are you drawn to those materials? I use whatever material will work for the scale. Okay. And um, I, I like the landscape idea, and so I'm drawn to anything that looks like it could be bigger. Okay. Like um, and things that I find that that read as that like a landscape kind of situation that but on a tiny scale, so that if I can't find them, sometimes I make them. Coming from the West, landscape was huge in, in my growing up, and you know, the geology of the earth just always was really fascinating, and you can see it a lot. Being from California, Mary Ann was heavily influenced by the wide open geography there. The materials she uses, such as this tiny piece of screen made into a ladder, are carefully chosen to create the illusion of being engulfed by your environment. Could you describe a little bit about your process and how you work with the materials? I use bronze sometimes because I can get a nice, I, I can get some effects that I can't find in nature, but a lot of what I use is found objects that, um, especially like really dried wood, which I use some, it has an age to it that looks like it's bigger because yeah. it's old. I don't know why, but it reads as something that's been around a long time. They almost offer like a mythological kind of aspect because the viewer just really makes it what it is. I, guess. I want the viewer to make yeah. their own story, their own. Right. I like a lot of times in my titles, I'll give them a clue what I was thinking about, uh -huh. but I don't want to. Um, impose Push them. on them. I yeah. want them just to be able to say, oh, what, look what happened here, and you make your own story. You know? yeah. All of Marianne's works are tied closely together with the theme of ambiguity. They give you a glimpse into a strong feeling or emotion without ever revealing a complete idea. Our, our communication is that I make something, they get to participate by yeah. making the myth of the story that they're whatever yeah. they can relate to in it yeah. imagine themselves in in it um, it's often like forces that you can't control or just the quiet times and that's the cool thing about your work is that there's a it's not all given to them it's they have right. to like communicate and respond to yeah, it. I just I, I'll give them a clue maybe in the title yeah. but other than that it's yours. Yeah. You know, once it's out there, it's yours. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's it for our artist spotlight on Mary Ann Breen. Her artwork is found exclusively on the New Orleans Art Center's website. Reach out to us anytime to learn more, and please add us on Instagram and Facebook for art news and events. I'm Callie Paget with Callie Connections, and I will see you guys next time.